of ego is a memory system. You know who you are in the sense that you remember who you are. You identify yourself with a series of events that you remember and these are like a, a strung out in a line, they're like a certain tune. And therefore you identify yourself with that tune. So we repeat ourselves, we have consistent characters just in the same way as a tune uh, is always constructed to repeat itself in a certain way with variations so that we recognize the, the tune and the name of the piece by hearing even one part of it. So here is a tune, see, that is being played and it is attached to a center called I. Only the I is much more than this particular tune, this particular series of memories. Even though we are persuaded and kind of hoaxed into identifying the whole I with that series of memories. But you know, supposing somebody plays a Chopin etude and then he stops. Then later on somebody else plays it. Is it the same tune? Why, in one sense, yes. In another sense, no. So, it is possible, isn't it, that even though your tune was wiped out because the memory system goes with death, uh, the same sort of tune can be played again. And with its characteristic themes and uh, that will be, in another sense, you. In a more particular sense than the you of centrality. In Buddhism, there has never been the idea that rebirth or reincarnation involves the transmigration of a specific soul. Because all schools of Buddhism are agreed on the idea that the individual self or soul is an illusion in Maya. And they liken the process of rebirth to the motion of a wave across the surface of water. Actually, the motion is illusory. The water simply goes up and down and there is an optical impression of a wave moving out. No wave moves and yet there is the seeming of movement. So the Buddhist would say, no soul reincarnates, and yet there is the illusion of reincarnation. Buddhists think of reincarnation as an illusion, and yet believe in it. Westerners think of it as something that might be a fact and find it difficult to believe in it. Westerners adopt the idea of reincarnation as a comforting idea. Buddhists are trying to get out of being reincarnated. <laughs> it's very funny. But at any rate, the Buddhist doctrine of reincarnation says that what passes from life to life is karma, is uh, doing, action. That's what karma means, process. And that's something like wave not soul, not entity. That doesn't pass. 
uh, you can look at it in another way. There is an institution like the University of California. Uh, this un university keeps going on and on and on, and yet all the buildings change. Certainly all the students change, all the faculty changes, all the administrative offices change as the years go by. And yet it's still the University of California. What is the University of California? Why, it is a process. It is a doing. It is a pattern of behavior. Your body is in the same situation. There is not one scrap of you that was with you ten years ago. It has all been rebuilt, reorganized, completely repaired and renewed. Then who are you? You are a pattern, you see. You are a process. It is identifiable and recognizable. You face in a certain way, you hair in a certain way, you eye in a certain way, and you behave in a certain way. So we recognize you. But it's all in constant. It's like a whirlpool in water. The water flows through and the whirlpool retains the shape until it doesn't. But then it can always whirlpool again somewhere else. Thank <laughs> you.